Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini for the second week of August. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the second week of August. I'm going to tag the first week on the end, and I feel like it really resonated, so we'll see what happens. What do we have for Gemini for the second week of August? This would be August 10th through the 16th. What do we have for Gemini? Oh, we need to get a couple of these. Let's not forget. Let's not forget. Ink pot. Problems to be resolved. Gong. An exciting event. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. So you have an exciting event coming up. But you do need to resolve a problem and you're going to have to be resourceful. So, that is interesting. You're going to have to... You may be spreading your resources thin. Okay, something is going to happen. Um, that's some sort of announcement. When the gong goes off, there's going to be an announcement of some sort. Now, this is a mess. So, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a messy situation. Anyhow... What do we have for Gemini for the week ahead? Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is moving, moving away, leaving the trouble behind, going to a better place, going to a more peaceful spot in your life. Seven of Coins reversed. So this is unrealistic, unrealistic, dissatisfied, um, lack of investment. nothing to gain there's nothing to gain this is wasted time of some sort it's time to go it's definitely time to go there's nothing left to gain you know and it's funny because when i see this card i think of anti up but it's reversed it's anti over <laughs> you know however that is i mean i don't gamble but you know um it's over there's nothing left to the game is up the game is over, okay? The game is over. This is going to a better place. It's leaving it all. It's, it is. It's, it's done. C coming out of the troubled waters, right? Queen of Cups reversed. There could be some deep sadness, okay? And then we have justice. So the this is heartbreak. This is sadness. Um, but this is justice. So justice is being served. Everything turning out as it should. So everything is going to turn out as it should this week, but it, you may be sad, okay? The Queen of Cups in reverse is heartache, it's sad, it's, it's uh, emotional, okay? Um, deep sadness of some sort. There is some sort of deep sadness. This is... Uh, hmm. You may be receiving a phone call that is very important. You know, that is going to be very important. What do we have for Gemini? Six of Wands. Now, this is victory. This is about balance. Balance is going to be restored. You're going to, this is getting what you deserve. So this is some sort of justice. And I think the justice is going to be in your favor. Balance is definitely going to be restor restored because of the Six of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Justice card upright. You're going to be ha very satisfied. This is a wish. This is a dream come true with the Nine of Cups. Um, this is, the Two of Coins is juggling, uh, having a lot of responsibilities. Um, going back and forth. You may be a little bit overwhelmed this week. It feels like you have a lot going on. Um, and this is games and this is because juggling is a game and this is a game. It's like so something about games, something about, you know, you've been, 
this is messy. You see, we have a mess here as well. So you have been involved in some sort of messy situation. Um, sorry about that. You have been involved in some sort of messy situation, but I think that you're going about to come out of it. I think there's something that is going to happen at the beginning of the week. At the beginning of the week that um, brings you brings about some sort of change, and you have to make a choice, or you 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 can't keep wasting your time. This is wasting time, and this is wasting time. It is it's decision time. Okay, there's there's something happening that you know it's decision time. Okay, and this is decision decision. It's it is. Um, it is about moving. It's about moving to a better place. Maybe you're weighing your options. You're going back and forth. You're trying to make the right decision. You will be making a decision by the end of the week. I feel like something is going to happen that is going to, you know, there's some sort of sadness that, uh, that happens that puts you in a but this is a leadership position, so I'm not sure what is happening. But this is this is a leadership position. Now the the battle is over. The battle really, really, really is over with the Six of Wands. You have been in some sort of troubled situation, and you know, you have. Sixes comes after fives. Fives are you know battles of some sort. So the battle is over. This is victory. Okay, this is this is a yes, this is a win. You win with the justice upright and the six of wands, you win. You win. But this win does not come without tears. So I'm not which is interesting. It's sad. It's a it's a bittersweet. Okay, that's what it is. It's bittersweet. Um the nine of cups is a wish being granted, the answer to your prayers, but it's a messy situation. So this is definitely messy. Um, mm. Chariot, Emperor, so I'm not sure if you could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with a Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, um, Home. Something to do with your home, something to do with your family, may have something to do with a father or a person in authority. It could be a boss. This is somebody in a position of authority. This could even be a judge. Uh, the emperor is an, a very experienced masculine energy that is, and the, with the with the justice, it definitely could be a judge. Whoever this person is, this is in somebody that is in a position of authority. This is a masculine energy that uses their head, that makes a decision and you can't change their mind. They base their decision based on the truth as well. So there is a decision that is about to be made this week. And it's it's going to go in your favor. Something is going to go in your favor. Um, the emperor is a fighter. This person is ready to fight. They are ready for the battle. They're battle ready. They have a lot of life experience behind their back. Now this person seems to be looking at wish fulfillment. The nine of cups. Great happiness. Somebody is, is making a decision based on facts, based on the truth, to restore balance, okay? They are. They're making a decision to restore balance. It's going to make you happy, but there's sadness too. So this is sadness and this is happiness. Like I said, it's bittersweet. Now the chariot is is putting you in the driver's seat. Now you're in this leadership position. You're going to be put in some sort of leadership position, okay? You may even become the boss. You may become the boss. Um, now definitely moving here as well. Some of you are going to be moving. You're going to be making the decision to move or you're going to be making plans to move or you're actually going to be moving. Whatever is happening, there's travel here or changing of residence. I think we have the end of a relationship. Maybe it's the end of a relationship with your old home or somebody in your family or a relationship with your boss or who somebody it's either a father, a boss, or a masculine. Okay, and this is a 10, which is a completion. These are both cards of extreme happiness after, you know, a completion. 
Okay, something something is happening and you are moving in a direction that does definitely lead to success. You're about to get to a better place. You're about to be in the driver's seat. It's like you are you're going down this road. You're going down a road probably and you're probably feeling more at peace with each passing day. Okay, I really feel like you are. You may also be dealing with somebody that is 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 driving somewhere. You know, I don't know if it's you. Somebody you could be you could be dealing with a masculine that is uh, going somewhere. This masculine may be going somewhere, or this masculine because this person is obviously thinking. You can see that this person is thinking. They are definitely thinking. Okay, so this person is a, definitely a thinker. They are very, uh, very, very wise, very, very experienced. This person is thinking about happiness. They're thinking about wish fulfillment. They they're thinking about, you know, if it feels like this is a this is like a, a wife or somebody that is very very. They're thinking about, you know, see, this is a man looking at a woman, and it feels like, I don't know, we have a masculine here that is. Maybe this person's been playing games or whatever. And I feel there could be a reunion, okay, or something like that. Um, this masculine here is making a decision. They are done fighting. This person has fought. They have fought already. You can see this person has already fought. The battle is over. The battle is over. So I don't know who you're dealing with, but this, this battle is over. This is moving. I'm done fighting. The fighting is over. So I don't know how that resonates with you. I feel like you have been in a situation where there's been a lot of problems. It's been choppy. It's been rough. You've been in some serious rough waters. And I feel like you've been going back and forth as to whether, you know, you should stay there or you should move on. Or you should keep playing this game. Whether, you know, it feels like you've been being cheated. And I think that you're at that point where perhaps you just want happiness as well. You know, there's moving here. There is absolutely moving. So you probably, you may be making a decision to move. You could be moving in with somebody. Okay, maybe you're moving in with your boyfriend, you know, or your girlfriend or whatever the case is. Um, somebody is moving, um, but this, or they're going to a better place. They're definitely going to a better place. The queen of cups reversed is, um, sadness. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, some, I feel like there's a loss. There's a loss here with that queen of cups reversed. I think it's a very emotional time. But there's also a lot of happiness. Now, justice is something going in your favor. And I don't know if it's something legal. For some of you, it's legal issues because this could be a judge. This is a win. Yes, it's going in your favor. You will you win. You will win. Okay? So if you are dealing with some legal issues this week, you're going to win. Your prayers are going to be answered. death on the bottom so death is a profound change it's an ending that leads to a new beginning it's a transformation it is separation and loss so you are going to be dealing with a separation and a loss that leads to a new beginning it breaks you free this is freedom you and i see that this there is there is here there's freedom here i think that you are going to be broken free from a troubled situation somehow now, this two of pentacles is a profit and a loss, and that's exactly what this is. Okay? It is a it is. It's a it's a it's a loss and a profit. So from from endings there's no beginning. So there you lose something but you gain something else. This has to do with a, a change in residence, I believe. I do believe. I think you're gonna be going someplace. And I think that you're going to be really, this is a transformation. The chariot is a transformation and the death card is a transformation. This is rising from the ashes. 
This is mastering your emotions, being put in the driver's seat, taking the reins, taking control of your life, going someplace. You're going to be taking a journey or you're going to be making the plans this week. The decision is going to be made or a decision is going to be made on your behalf or something like that. Something is going to go in your favor. And it's going to go in your favor because of your honesty, because of your integrity. You may have been dealing with somebody that was an emotional wreck. Somebody that was emotionally imbalanced. I feel like this person that is emotionally imbalanced is... Uh, they may be going someplace. If you take a look at this lineup, they may be deciding to go someplace. The fool. There's recklessness here. This is this this fool reversed is recklessness. It's it's foolish. This is a poor judgment call headed for a fall. Um, sorry, I'm scratching. Impulsive. Somebody that is impulsive making making a foolish move. Somebody's gonna and if they could be falling. Somebody could fall. Foolish behavior. Fall flat on their face. Somebody may. What the hell is going on here with the fool reversed? Staying put. Somebody's lacking judgment. They're missing an opportunity. They've been missing up an opportunity. Somebody has been missing an opportunity because of fear. They've been very fearful. But I feel like they're this they're 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 letting go of fear. I feel like they're letting go of fear and they're taking a leap of faith even though they are fearful. There is some sort of fear here, but I feel like they're they're going to do it anyway. I feel like whatever it is that they're going to do, they're going to take a leap. They're going to do it anyway. Somebody could be leaving your life. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. And I feel like it's sad. But it brings you some sort of relief. I feel like at the beginning of the week, it's going to be very troubled. It's going to be rocky. The beginning of the week is going to be rocky. Um, but by the end of the week, things are going to balance out. And I feel like you're going to feel... Um, you're going to feel more at peace. You're going to be feel, feel more at peace. You're going to be more wiser in the end, to put it that way as well. I think that whatever is happening is building your character and it's making you wiser. I think that you've been played as well. I feel like you've been played by somebody, but I think the game is up. I think the game is up. Um, somebody makes a foolish mistake. I feel like there's a foolish mistake and they're, they get caught. You know, they don't they don't think they're going to get caught, but they do get the get get caught and you win. Whatever this battle is, you win. You win and you are free to go. You're free to move. Could be dealing with the Aries. You have Aries, you have Libra, you have Gemini, you have um Cancer, Taurus, Capricorn. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's going to be some sort of event, an announcement of some sort, that is a loss, but gives you an opportunity to be successful someplace else. The beginning of the week is is the worst okay and by the end of the week you're going to be feeling uh more at peace with whatever happened good luck